Hmm. I don't know what it is. I thought I was gonna get. It. I thought it might have been beans because people said I would love it. Maybe uh. Okay. What? That that's actually that was an insane second guess. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Remember, exclamation point bloke for the link to the new video. I, I can't believe of all the second guesses, I randomly guess one that's one letter off. It's actually nuts. Your acting has improved. I'm actually a really bad actor, so you know anytime I'm lying immediately because I can't act. That's what a good actor would say? No, I don't think so. You acted like you cared about us? No, I don't think I've ever done that. I care enough that if there was like a red button that I could press to exterminate like everyone that sent a message in my chat, I would not press it. So you're welcome. That is actually like a, like if there was a big red button, it'd be really tempting to press it. So it's, it's pretty meaningful that I wouldn't press it. Imagine letting people know you watch Liam. What do you mean? Doesn't everyone tell their friends and family? If you haven't, you should tell them at least about the YouTube channel and you should send the link to the latest YouTube video to two friends and then tell them to send it to two of their friends and that it will become viral within about a day if everyone listens. I told my mom she started crying. Okay. I'll tell my parents about you if you tell yours about me. Oh yeah, I tell my parents about all my favorite chatters. Yeah, you know who you are. Do you think about us when not streaming? I honestly just don't at all. If I said yes, then I'd be lying and I'd be baiting you into like parasocial relationships or something. You already do bait people in the parasocial relationships. How? I think I go out of my way to avoid those. Like, I don't say we. I can't believe we lost that run. We might world record this run, guys. We got this. I don't think most people say that with bad intent. It's like, it's like involuntary. You're more subtle about it. You do it the smart way. No, I don't think so. I think I just found a great message. Can't wait to read this one. Right, what did this say? Liam is the definition of a introvert who is also a hermit. No way he baits people into a relationship. What? What is a hermit? I think I asked this yesterday and no one explained. As far as I know, a hermit is just a crab. Living away from society? Yeah, that doesn't describe me. You might be able to say that I'm introverted, but I'm definitely not a hermit. Like the other day, I think two days ago, I made a phone call to my apartment, like the office, and I had to ask them a question about my lease. Car battery dies, goes out once in two weeks. I'd say two weeks is pretty good. You gotta think of it like, a car is just a tool for NPCs, right? So everything about a car is gonna be designed so the lowest of the low, basic, programmed NPCs can function and use it. So it's really just, there's no way it's that hard. And if I can speedrun Mario, I can figure out everything I need about a car. What do non-NPCs use? Oh, they might also drive. Maybe they get limos or like private jets. It's simply agree to chauffeur you. No. When I asked him, he laughed in my face. No, I'm actually moving away from Simply, like far away, because he knows my address. So there's always like a constant threat over my shoulders that he could just show up and sabotage my my like N64 and stuff. What? 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 Why didn't I get a rollout? Okay. Game is good and fair. Is he wearing a jacket? What is that draped over his shoulders? It is a jacket, man. This jacket is actually olive colored. That looks stupid. You don't like it? I'll get rid of it then. Just wear it normally? I'm wearing it normally. What do you mean? There's a hood. I'm not gonna put the hood on. I might, maybe I'll put the hood on if for a second if I get salt. Maybe I won't. This is so stupid, dude. I'm not doing it. You look great. Thanks for enclosing it in, in single quotes. I'm sure you mean it. <laughs> it's just not that funny. <laughs> what? Why, why would it be funny? We got this, man. I still believe we can world record with this run. You were here. Surely I get perfect reds. I don't really see what could possibly go wrong here. I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. I just lost 10 seconds because the game is nice and good. Really loving this time loss this run. 
can't miss a coin on this route. Unfortunate. I feel like I have to continue because I'm getting runs pretty deep, so I'm like, kind of forced to, sadly. I don't think this is... It's just not gonna work. I think I'm out of mana. I was feeling pretty good until that run, but it chipped away at my mental, and now there's just nothing left. I really love these genuine, real, positive messages. I actually feel a lot better now. Let's focus up and get this world record. Good gameplay. Can you give investment advice as a joke? Go to Vegas and dump all of your money on roulette. I'm, I might do this. Like, no joke. I'm thinking about doing this. Because if you win, then you've just doubled your money. Now, actually, what you're supposed to do, I think, you go 50%, so then if you lose, then you go the last 50, and then you walk away even. If you win, then free money. So there's, it's very unlikely you lose twice in a row, and if you do, then maybe you just, maybe that's a sign. 25% is pretty unlikely. I'd say it's, you can say it's unlikely if it's sub 50. So if it's sub 30, then it's pretty unlikely. Did your high school have a crazy scandal? No, I don't think so. I think this is a doxing attempt. You think I don't realize? You're gonna like Google the scandal and then find out everything. That's not paranoid, that's actually so smart. I think of every possibility then. You think owning a cactus would lead to your death? I don't think it would lead to my death, but it would be very hazardous. And this isn't even a joke. If you can't see the potential dangers in owning a cactus, then maybe maybe you need to be more cautious in your life. Think of all these scenarios with a cactus. What if you trip and you have a giant cactus in the corner of your room? You fall into it. You live alone, it's over. You have a, a small cactus on your desk. You, instead of grabbing your cup, you grab the cactus, leads to infection, lose your hand, maybe even your life. If you had a cactus anywhere where you could trip, not only do you fall into it, you could jab your fucking eyes out. You could, like, there's so many possibilities, man. It's a dumb plant to own. Get an aloe vera or a bonsai. This is the same guy who claims to own a Glock. Yeah, what about it? You can't defend yourself with a cactus. A cactus is just decoration. It has no other use. You're not going to pick up like a giant cactus plant and wave it around like a sword at an intruder. That's just so dumb. It's not a self-defense weapon. Just because you could harm someone with it doesn't mean it's good for self-defense. I could harm someone with like, nail clippers. I'm getting angry. I'm pretty sure if you picked up a cactus, it, it would just like, it would it would just like snap in half because of the structural integrity. Like if you held it horizontally, I'm, I think it would just go limp or something. What is this camera? I, I feel like I need to draw this. All right, can you see this? You have a potted plant with a cactus. If you hold the plant like this, it breaks. What is complicated about what the, that? It makes sense. You just gotta open your mind. So this would happen, or or it it would go limp. You know what I mean? It's not just gonna. It's not like a like a stick of wood. It's a plant. They're held up because they're stood up straight. Okay, imagine a skyscraper. You pick it up and you hold it to the side. It's gonna fucking break. It stands up straight. But that doesn't like because you can't just rotate it. I think I'm just not gonna do more runs because I actually feel bad about wasting everyone's time with how shitty these attempts are. Don't act like you care about us. I do, like to an extent. I said earlier today, if there was a red button and I could insta kill everyone that sent a message in my chat, I would go out of my way to not press it. That's that's a lot, because there's a big temptation to press a red button. I think this is like some kind of psychological experiment. What if you had a gun to your head? Well then yeah, I would do it. Of course. I, I don't know why I'm still alive. I'm trying to look for someone to raid. Uh, Slippery Nip is live. This was just a bad stream. This might be a VOD, VOD deleter. Your sweater is looking real drippy today, thanks. It also has a hood. Alright, I'm... I'm gonna... I might not be... I might not be back tomorrow, 